Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, overnight, the Australian dollar and also the euro found strong momentum. And behind that was on the back of the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies as it takes the challenge to the downside and crushes the short-term uptrend, which is seen around 103.40. From the break, now gives further trajectory down towards 102.30 as a potential target due to the heavy technicals. This, in terms, has seen the euro now push further to the upside as it looks towards the resistance of 105.80. I feel the market may clear this level and push on towards 106.45 to about 106.90 before the bears return or profit taking likely to emerge. The Australian dollar also finding momentum after rebounding off the 69.55.65 level on Thursday. Partly on the back of that was the Australian job release, which came in surprisingly low against the uh, rate of 3.9 last witnessed back in 1974. The full-time employment increased by a whopping 92,000 jobs, while the part-time decreased by 88,000 jobs. This has now opened the door for the RBA to lift rates possibly up by 40 basis points to around 0.75%. That is when the RBA meet June the 7th. Looking at the technicals, market is still somewhat positive and therefore I'm looking up towards 70, 45, 55 and then maybe to challenge that 70, 95. The dollar yen crumbled overnight and reached its objective which was at 127, figure 45. Respecting that level, still the market is weighing on the support. A break of this region would give further scope to the downside and look towards the region of 125, figure 55. But we do need a decisive strong break that is and therefore to support the downside but the technicals are heavy following the euro rebound and also the sterling has come also in mirror to that with the us dollar weakening from the support level of 123 after a brief pullback on thursday from the rebound now it looks to a further up test which could see a rise up to 124.80 to 125.40 and i'm still holding the view to 126 figure 40 as a potential target the pullback in sterling kiwi still looks relatively heavy. I still feel the market has potential to reach the target of 193 before profit taking emerges. With the dollar weakening, gold found strong support and rallied through the key level, or the downtrend, should I say, which was at 1,832 to 34. From the break now gives us the next target of 1,849 to 53 that may actually extend up to 1,862. However, with many of the FOMC members speaking relatively hawkish and all calling for a 50 base point rate hike in the next two meetings for the US, could eventually see a stronger US dollar. And therefore, I do feel that this rally will be pretty much short lived and therefore look for a turnaround anywhere beyond 1,853. Wrapping up with all, the market did stab the level of 106 and posted a low around the 102, 103 briefly and then rallied back again. And from the close, I still feel there is relatively good interest to see supply emerging for this market and therefore look for another down test to 106.40 with 102.60.70 as a potential target. Well, that wraps it for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, we'll go after the intro report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new weekend.